Terry, it's great to see you. And um, it, it sounds like even though there's been some moderation in demand for uh, personal EVs, that the fleet usage and the school bus usage is growing. It definitely is, and it's largely uh, due to that federal policy that you've been describing. So we're serving school bus fleets across the country now, and we're seeing meaningful investments from some of the uh, customers that we work with, like the ones you mentioned. Do you see these, these funds continuing to be distributed, or what, what percentage of, of this whole uh, distribution would you say is already completed? Well, a lot of it is already authorized. Not all of it has been appropriated. So the appropriations are still moving through. Some of them go to states now. States are uh, and cities are beginning to release some of the funds to private actors to set up charging infrastructure. And so uh, it's moving through these various stages, and we're seeing it finally reach communities and customers that need it. Do, do the kind of continued uh, distribution of these funds depend at all on who becomes president next month? Well, much of it's, again, already authorized, and uh, a lot of it's already appropriated. I think it's hard to have a new administration come in and tell a school district, well, you know, you were going to get these school buses paid for the federal, by for the federal government. Now you're not. So I think much of that funding is going to continue. But importantly, state and local incentives are also driving this industry forward. A lot of those regulations are continuing to push uh, out investment and to put electrification in the hands of consumers. And many of the companies like the ones you mentioned, Pepsi, FedEx, Walmart, that we work with, they're telling us that they have multi-year investment strategies to electrify. And that's not because of just the federal incentives. It's because they save money and they pass that on to their customers and they get performance enhancements like quieter vehicles. So I was always uh, told, or at least in the early days of EVs, it was said that, you know, bigger trucks would be very difficult to power. The batteries have to be huge. The recharging has to happen frequently. And from what I read here, you say these charging stations need to be distributed every 20 miles around major cities and between cities. So how successfully are fleets able to transition trucks from gasoline powered to electric? Well, it's important to remember fleets are very diverse, right? And a lot of them come to the same place every night or every day in charge. And so what in charge does principally is work at those depot facilities. The in the field charging stations that they may rely on when they need them in perhaps an emergency or something, um, that is being built now uh, over time, but they can rely on that daily charge at their own facility. And that works for most of these uh, delivery companies. It works for school buses, it works for even rideshare um, have now set up rideshare sites where some of the drivers plug in and then go out and serve customers. How long does it take to charge one of these big trucks? And do you know how the cost compares with uh, sort of traditional gasoline? Or I guess Yeah, diesel? it can take, yeah, when you say a big truck, like a semi truck that would say go out every night and uh, fill up a restaurant uh, with all of their supplies that they need. That might take as much as four to six hours to charge on high power chargers today. Wow. And we might put in, we have a facility where we're putting in, in Southern California, uh, 40 of those chargers on a single property. So they uh, fill the truck at uh, during the day and they charge during the day and they drive out at night and deliver them. So, um, you know, it does depend on how much power you have available on the site and how far you're going to drive and how heavy your load is. So there's a lot of factors that these fleets are considering, and we try to make that easy with engineering, site design, and software that helps you to plan out your routes.